As every year, with memories of more than a hundred, the town of Punxsutawney awoke again to the unique wonder of Groundhog's Day. A day where all their wintry fates are thrown onto the furry backs of strangers. A day they all came to one place together to look to the groundhog and maybe his shadow. And as the groundhog lay nervously awake in his stumpy abode, he tried to remember where in all of this journey he could have done things differently. What had gone so terribly wrong? But perhaps our memory doesn't serve just to remind us of the mistakes we've made, the pain we might cause, when we bounce around, bumping into the lives around us. Perhaps our memory serves to remind us that between the good and the bad, the balance is often tipped towards good, that life isn't meant to be spent in the dark places of our minds but in the moments in which we contribute to the beauty that abounds regardless. And as the crowd outside reached fevered pitch, with the defining moment just seconds away, the groundhog realized for the first time in his existence that the things in life that seem not so perfect are in fact the very things that often makes it so. A gentle calm grew over him as he prepared to answer the call, as he prepared to tell the world what had happened, as he prepared to say he was sorry, that he did all he could, that maybe it was time for a new tradition. And on this day, just 30 minutes past February 2nd, rising of the sun, the great father of all Mamata would rise. to answer the call of the much-anticipated knocking and open the door to his destiny. For the shadow had somehow found his way home. And in that moment, the groundhog and his shadow assured us all that while a cold winter will last but six more weeks, a true friendship will last a lifetime.